second graders, we're back and we're talking about time. Okay, so I want to know, what do you know about clocks? About this clock here. What do you know? All right, hit pause, make me a list. What do you know? All right, you should have hit pause. I almost hit pause too, but here we go. I'm back. You're back. Let's talk. All right, so the longer hand on this clock is blue. It is the, is it the hour hand or the minute hand? It's the minute hand. And maybe you notice that this minute hand's blue and there's also a blue ring around this clock. And that means those blue numbers match the blue hand. So if I go like this, boom. That means five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So see how those blue numbers just match that blue hand? The long hand is the minute hand, and maybe you already knew the red hand was the hour hand. So if I go like that, it matches the red number 11, not the 55. Not the 55, it matches the 11. Then like that, it matches the 12, and the one, and so on. Okay. Maybe you also knew that when the minute hand is pointing straight up like this, and it's pointing at the 60, that means it's at exactly one o'clock. Or if I moved the hour hand, it's exactly two o'clock when this is pointing straight up. And maybe you knew that when the blue hand, the minute hand, is facing exactly down to the 30. Whoop, there we go, right down to that 30 there. Maybe you knew that the, the hour hand would actually be right between two and three, or whatever numbers it's pointing at. Because this means it's exactly chopping that hour in half. Half hour has passed, like that. So this would be 230. See, it's not pointing at the three yet. All right, um, maybe you also knew that when you have the minute hand pointing like this, straight out, where am I? There we go, this way, to the nine here. That means 45 minutes have passed. So see how this is pointing almost exactly to the three? It's not quite there yet though. It's not there yet. So this means it's 2.45. If it were 3.45, it would almost be to the four. This one's kind of a tricky one to read, the 45 minute mark. All right, so let's try it with three o'clock. That's like after school hours, right? So three o'clock, this would be 3.15. This would be 3.30. Say it with me if you know it. This would be, say it if you know it, 3.45. And this would be 4. Wait. There. 4. I had to move my hour hand just a slight bit. All right, guys. If you have a clock, I want you to grab it because we are gonna play a little game here. So, I want everyone to put their clock at two and if you don't have a clock, no problemo because we're just gonna use my clock. All right, so put your clock at two o'clock if you have one. Otherwise, just use mine. All right, I want you to add 15 minutes and tell me what time it is. Start at two and add 15 minutes. And then of course, move. If you have the clock, move it. Move the hands. All right, here we'd add five, 10, 15. So that would be 215. All right, we're gonna start now at 215, just like we have already. And we're gonna add 15 minutes. All right, to figure out what time it is. All right, ready? Do it on your clock. Did you do it? You're probably like, I don't have a clock. Five, 10, 15. Is that set? Is that right? Is that 2.30 now? 
the answer to that is not yet because what's happening here? We've got this straight down, but the hour hand has to move, right? It should be directly between the two and the three, just like that. Okay, start at, I'm gonna give you a different starting number. Start at 320. Okay, so I'm gonna get mine to 320. You do yours too if you have it. Okay, it should look like this. My hour hand's at three. My minute hand's pointing to the 20. All right. I want you to add one hour and 10 minutes. One hour and 10 minutes. Okay, everybody take your time. Figure it out on my clock first. All right, on the count of three, I want to hear what you got. Ready? One, two, three, tell me. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Did you say 4.30? Let's find out. Okay, let's go. Adding an hour. So I moved my hour or my minute hand all the way around, and my three is going to move to my four. That's adding just an hour. Now it's 4.20. We have to add 10 more minutes, though. Five, ten just like that. So that is not yet 4.30. We still have to move that right between the four and the five. I always forget that part. We got to remember that part. All right, you guys, we are going to do a little story about movie night. Now, I know a lot of you know me and a lot of you are still getting to know me, but I love movie nights at my house. Now, since quarantine's been going, I've been doing small gatherings with friends and we stay outside to watch the movies. So that's been kind of fun. I use a projector and secretly, I have a big, huge popcorn maker right over there. And I make popcorn and it's so fun. So I thought I'd write a story about movie night. All right, so here we go. Movie night. My friends and I are planning a movie night. We wanted to watch Frozen 2, and we will start the movie at 4.05 p.m. Okay, you got to be there on time. Popcorn's coming. The movie will end at 5.48 p.m. How long is the movie? Now, notice there are no, no number set choices, because in this one, I just actually used how long Frozen 2 is. So I didn't give you number sets this time. I just had everybody try out the same one. So let's make sure we understand. My friends and I are planning a movie night. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you know to be here on time for the popcorn? You better. We want to watch Frozen 2. Don't say uh or yay. And we will start the movie at 4.05 p.m. Okay, so... It's right around the time it's gonna start getting dark, right? And the movie will end at 5.48 p.m. How long is the movie? All right, so how long do I get to do the outdoor movie with my friends? You tell me. Grab your stuff, grab your clock, grab your paper, your pencil, everything, go. See you next time, bye.